Hey, it is Dave from Gravity Wiz. I just want to give you a quick tour of our new release, Conditional Pricing 2.0. We've overhauled the UI, we've added the importer, uh, made it publicly available, and then we've also added support for exporting your pricing rules. I think you're going to really like it. Let me show you an example. So let's just say that we have a catering service called Dave's Digital Taco Stand. We sell tacos, burritos, churros, and then each of those option, each of those products has different options. Like you can select the taco meat, the burrito meat, or for churros, you can select the filling or the drizzle. Uh, this is a catering service, so you have a preference of how this is served. You can either get it individually wrapped or served on a platter, and all of these options are going to affect the price of the product. Now, normally in Gravity Forms, the way you do this is you just create multiple products and set the prices dependent uh, on those selected options and then use conditional logic to control which product is shown. But that's really clunky, and that's where conditional pricing really shines. So jumping back over here. We're going to just focus on the import and export uh, pro like options here, but just worth noting that you can add pricing rules manually by selecting a product and going through that route. But let's go ahead and jump into the importer, and we're going to choose a file. I have our yummy pricing rules set up here. And actually, real quick, let me show you what that looks like so you can see. So you can see we have the product column, we have the taco meat. So each of these columns is going to map to a field, and each of these rows here with the quantities would map to a different product quantity field. Uh, so this is a really flexible format that is also easy to read. So let's go ahead and uh, import this file. And now we're on the mapping section of the importer where you'll just map the columns and rows from your import file to the fields on the form. So in this case, this is the import column. This is the field on the form that you want to map it to. It's limited to products here. And then the columns, for example, uh, same. In this case, we have everything named identically, but it doesn't have to be. And these all represent the fields on the form that we're just mapping to their respective columns in the import file. And then lastly, we have the row conditions. And here you'll see that each of these row conditions, it lets you know which product it applies to. Uh, so for example, looking back at this file, we have these three rows. So this one applies to tacos, this one applies to burritos, and this one applies to churros. Now, typically, if you're going to be using your, ex your import file as your source of truth, then you'll always use replace all. And if you want to know more about these other options, read the docs, but uh, it's pretty flexible. So we're going to go ahead and import these pricing levels. It warns us just to make sure that we want to do that. It lets us know that we've imported 48 pricing levels just like that. Uh, and in order to preserve these changes, you do need to click Save Pricing. This is just, again, another safeguard in case you look at the pricing rules and you feel like something went um, awry and you want to correct it before saving. And now you can see we have all of those pricing rules just automatically inserted in here. Now, uh, once you've done importing, you may make manual changes to this uh, in the UI. You may tweak a little of this, tweak a little of that. So then you can always go and export your pricing rules. We didn't change anything, so it's identical to the, the import file, uh, but it, this is a fresh export of those pricing rules. So again, any changes you make will be reflected here. You can make additional edits to this and then re-import it. It's pretty awesome. <laughs> and I don't know if you noticed, but the whole time that we were going through that, there were zero page refreshes because again, we refactored the whole code base to be in a React app now. So it is very smooth. I think you'll really enjoy this new experience. All right, that's it for now. If you have any questions, reach out to our legendary support team uh, and we'll be happy to help. Thanks a lot, bye.